Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing something a little bit different. As you guys may have known, um, I just uploaded a video, well in real time I just uploaded a video looking at the leaked script that David Ayer, the Suicide Squad director, not James Gunn for the new one, the original OG Suicide Squad, he leaked a script a while ago, and I kind of did a little short recap slash review of it, um, and uh, yesterday I did uh, basically looking at all the deleted scenes of the Joker and things that we expected the Joker to do in that movie, they just didn't do, and um, yeah, so if you guys like me talking about Suicide Squad, because I actually really like it, um, let me know. Um, but today is another Suicide Squad video. This is not really a trial reaction. Like, the trial reaction is part of it. It's just so you guys can experience it at the same time as me. I've never seen this trial before. Um, I've seen it a few times, but not when it was actually released. But, um, apparently there's shots in this trial, I think it is, that are not in the film. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to watch the trailer, and then we're going to look at the ones that were not in the movie. Because... They, like, reshot almost the whole bloody movie uh, from what David Ayer originally visioned uh, for this movie. So, let, so, let's check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one, and... Really, really bad. Alright, so that's the first show we're going to look at. Um, but there is a shot that we didn't see in the theatrical cut, which I think I, I remember seeing, but I could be wrong. Let me know. Because I think, I need to try and find it, hold on, oh, here, so, this thing here, I thought I remember, I could be wrong though, um, so I'm going to screenshot that, so then I can edit it in the video. I thought I remember this whole, um, like, this bit, like, I know what scene's from, but I thought I remember the bit with, um, Harley Quinn with the bat, and she kind of does the gun thing, like, but I could be wrong, I don't think that was ever in the film. And, from what it looks like, it doesn't look like this trailer, and the whole scene where they're walking in, Will Smith again says, what we some kind of suicide squad? I can't seem to find it, but I'm going to try and get one of the. Oh wait, hold on! I have one of the other trailers here. Let's hope that this is the right trailer. So, now I'm going to uh, slice the reactions up in bits. I'm sorry, but um, it's just for copyright. But, um, yeah, so, Ray, Steady, and... Children might like toys. I kind of have a feeling that this shot's not gonna be in. Seriously, the hell's oh, wrong with you people? Scenes. We're bad guys. guys. What, what we do? do? Oh, boy, I love how they have Bohemian Rhapsody, um, in the background. Just letting you guys know, this, that is how I recognize songs. If I play them on Spotify or something, that's how I know the songs are from movie trailers. Okay, so there were a few shots in there. I'm just going to find them. Um, so I went through all the Joker stuff, so we won't necessarily talk about the Joker stuff. But it's weird because... Oh, hold on. So... Um... I'm only looking at this because I can't see it in the trailer, but I know 
that's out of the scene. So, sorry, I'm just trying to find this. Because... Because I can't find it, because... What was originally going to happen? So, I'll just screenshot this scene just so I can use it. I like how I'm now doing a lot of DC videos. I'm kind of, um, like, I guess, doing different areas of the superhero stuff. Most of the shots in here were... were in the film. Like, we already went through, uh, in yesterday's video, that, um, there was meant to be an extra scene of Batman... There was meant to be a scene with Joker with a bat. There was meant to be a scene with Joker with a grenade and a burnt face. There was meant to be a... Uh, what else did we have there? Um, there was meant to be a extended kind of scene, like during the chemical scene from one of the images that I showed you guys yesterday. And there was also meant to be one of the best ideas ever, which was the Joker in a Batman suit, because Hot, to Hot Toys released that. So, the thing is, is that the trailers don't show many things. I don't, I don't remember this in the movie as well, so I'll screenshot that. So, this is actually really interesting. Um, so, this shot here of Katana basically just kind of lifting her sword up and reflecting something. Um, it might be Enchantress's spell, maybe? But I can't remember that in the movie. I haven't seen the movie in a really long time. But I don't remember that. Um, I don't remember Harley Quinn doing with the bat. What was the other thing I screenshot? I'm curious now. Yeah, so that's all. Okay, hold on. So, there was more things, because this movie was meant to be more of a how do I put it? Like, more of a build-up film to Justice League. Because the original plan for this film was that Suicide Squad was going to lead into Justice League because they would introduce the Parademons. Um, the whole portal thing in the sky, they kind of changed it to Enchantress uh, with the reshoots and stuff. But... The original plan was to have the parademons coming through that uh, thing in the sky. And from that, I would presume Steppenwolf would appear and they would defeat Steppenwolf. In the original cut, um, El Diablo actually lived. Because I, I didn't mind him dying, but I thought that it would... That it was kind of weird that he just disappeared out of nowhere. Like, he was like, Oh, I'm going to fight this guy. Turn into some weird fiery monster and just go fight this guy. And I just randomly died and don't come back to life. So, the original cut, he survived. Um, I'll talk about more of this in a separate video. But, the shot of Harley Quinn going like this. The, uh, obviously, the, um whole parademons we didn't see and katana reflecting something off a sword we didn't see in the film but now i'm only researching this because i feel like i'm skipping something here's a list of 20 suicide squad shots Well, so it says that uh, the whole bit of what we're talking about, Superman, we didn't see. I kind of disagree because the whole thing was like, we need to get all these guys um, ready because if an evil Superman comes down, we need people to face him. So I disagree with that. This, yes, we absolutely did not see. We didn't see El Diablo 
flying around with a flame. And we didn't see this um, weird creepy guy in the film either. The other thing was too is that there was a scene in the theatrical cut Suicide Squad where uh, Rick Flagg is talking to Amanda Waller. And she um, is basically going, look, we need these guys. And he's like, no, these people are bad guys. Why would you not like this? So I was right. Harley doing that. We didn't see in the film. Apparently, we didn't see a scene in the... There was meant to be more scenes in the car. Which I can't get. Then there was meant to be a scene of Enchantress flirting with Rick Flag, and then I, I was that this was in the film, but I could be wrong. I can't wait to show you my toys. I have found that that was in the film. Joker shootout was definitely in the film. I remember that the bit where um, she's like, "Let's do something fun." That wasn't in the film. Katana's Blight of Souls, definitely did not see that in the film. Katana's Transformation, we didn't see that. Kirkrock vs. Katana, didn't see it. Harley slams, uh, Harleen slams Joker's ride, didn't see. That's the bit that they add in the extended cut where she's like, You idiot! I showed how much I love you and yet you don't care! Basically. Uh... Okay, so some of these are quotes that we didn't see in the film. So, I love this guy. She's probably talking about the Joker. Can't remember that in the film. The again, that was added in the extended cut of her Ryan in the on the motorcycle. Harley's went get dead shot. Can't remember seeing. Uh, Joker with a gun. Can't remember seeing. Um, and then. Says Hull, Harley takes drink orders and kill a croc. Just going like, what? Um, Owls or threats. Don't think it was in the film, I think. But yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see how much of these um, scenes and how long they would go for in the air cut. Because... Again, the ridiculous thing ever is that this, the air cut, was meant to come out, but because Warner Bros. is stupid, and was like, oh, they're not liking the dark tone to um, Batman vs. Superman, and yet they winch that years later, like in 2017, a year after Suicide Squad, and Dawn Justice, they were just like, you know what, let's turn up the goofiness. Let's bring in Josh Whedon to direct the Justice League and be a bit more fun and goofy. And yet, no one likes it. I don't understand fans of DC. It's ridiculous. I don't mind um, the dark the dark stuff. I'm starting to like uh, DC a little bit more now, but I haven't seen most of the films. I'm still a Marvel fanboy. See, so if you look behind here, these boxes here, I have Marvel there. There's some DC stuff, Ninja Turtle stuff, Jumanji, and all that there. Um, you know what? I might do um, a DC DVD update. Um, maybe right after this, just so you guys can see that I'm actually sounding uh, like DC a little bit more now. So, guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also, hit the little bell icon to get notified of future videos I make. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. There. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon.